What's going on YouTube, Brad Vapes here, back for the third and final instalment of these wonderful e-liquids from vapemade.co.uk. Here's the, uh, the card, www.vapemade.co.uk, the logo's in the background. Yeah, um, today we're going to be, well in this video, we're going to be reviewing a liquid called Kakoyam. Um, I read online and I'm pretty sure... <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's something to do with chocolate and Ferrero Rocher. That's what I read. Um, I might be wrong, but uh, that's what I read. Herbs de Provence. Uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of rosemary, thyme, uh, paprika. Is that a herb? Sort of e-liquid. Uh, so that one hopefully shouldn't be so bad. And we've got hickory smoked here, which I'm sorry, but it actually smells like a Sharpie. It smells like a whiteboard marker. There's something not right with this. This can't be the intentional smell or flavour which they have gone for. Because that, that really... If, that, if, it, if it tastes how it smells, uh, something's going to go terribly wrong in this video. But uh, yeah, let's go for it. going to drip it in my Octopus RDA as usual. And as mentioned, the bottles are childproof, which is good. They're nice and easy to drip with. As you can see, they're nice and squishy. Um, but yeah, all that matters is how it tastes. So I'm just going to press it and see how it smells. It smells kind of meaty, but it just smells like a burnt Sharpie. It smells like a Sharpie mix of Roadworks. <laughs> right, let's just try it. Let's just go for it. I'm, I'm really sorry if I have a bad reaction to this, but this one smells almost as bad, if not worse, than the bacon one. I are just about water, just let me get The only way I can explain how this tastes is imagine vaping on a completely burnt out cotton coil, a coil with a cotton wick, whilst rubbing a sharpie in your nostril, licking roadworks. I'm not even joking. I'm sorry, I just, I needed a moment to myself. Shut up, Facebook. <laughs> just one, one more, just one more, and that's it. That's definitely on par with the bacon, like in terms of how bloody disgusting it is. Um, for some reason, it's not setting off my gag reflex as bad, but I'm sort of stuck in that stage between gagging and not gagging. If it's like that, as I mentioned in the other one, that's sort of when your throat feels funny and your, your mouth it just starts salivating like crazy. Well, that is truly bloody awful. See, I'm trying to cut down on my swearing. Oh, no, honestly, I would not recommend anyone try that one. The bacon one, at least it's kind of funny. But that one literally just tastes like you've ruined your coil. It just tastes like you've ruined your coil, you're rubbing a sharpie in your nostril, and you're licking roadworks. So, I mean, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. Um, and now we're going to try out... I can't decide whether to try Herbs to Province first, which sounds kind of nice compared to the other liquids. Or... Kakoyam. You know what? I'm going to go for Kakoyam just because it's a nice sort of peachy colour. It looks a little bit appealing. Whereas the herbs one, it's just completely clear. And it smells kind of biscuity, I guess. This It doesn't actually smell that bad. Actually, I'm looking forward to this one. You know what? I might actually like this one. And if some of you think I'm overreacting with these liquids, please, please either buy them yourself or if you enter the uh, the competition and you win do a video of yourself trying them because 
this is damn awful. Some bloody weird e-liquids. So this is Kokoyam. I'm just going to drip a little bit more. This is Kokoyam. I'm going to give it a, a smell again. You know what? It doesn't smell that bad. It actually smells quite nice. I don't know if I've just been desensitised to the smell of nice e-liquids because of how bad these e-liquids have tasted and smell. But uh, yeah, let's just go for it. Whoa, I overwicked. Uh, overdrip, sorry. Oh, bloody hell. Wait there, let me just... Hmm. Ah, oh, there's nothing I can do. There's not... <laughs> Point of no return. You know what? It tastes like cereal. It's actually not even bad. It's actually... It's not nice. It's just, it's not bad. It's a... Uh, kinda, it's a little bit pleasant. It just tastes like dry cereal. I'm trying to figure out what cereal Cheerios. It actually tastes like dry Cheerios. Dry, wet, milky. This tastes like dry honey Cheerios. Is it? It tastes like the ones in the white box. The ones that got like, the multi coloured ones. Not for, like not like Fruit Loops, but the white box with like the different shades of brown Cheerio. This isn't that bad. I would try this one if I was you, if you're going to get any of them for free. Just try this one. You know what, that's all I've got to say. It just tastes like dry Cheerios. So now we're going to uh, go on to the Herbs de Provence and hopefully that one's not so bad. But uh, I'm going to do a little little cut here and we'll cut that one. Just whilst I'm uh, drying this tank off and I'm going to be rewicking it, I'm just going to talk about... Uh, People say at the start of every e-liquid review, which I've forgotten to mention in these past couple of ones, so I do apologise, let me just get more centre frame. Um, people say that taste is subjective. And you know what, for the most part I agree with that. I agree, yes. Taste is subjective, everyone tastes things differently. Where's my eye stick gone? It's over there, give me a moment. People say taste is subjective. Well, yeah, fair enough. Not everyone likes aniseed, not everyone likes menthol. Like myself, not everyone likes tobacco liquids, um, which is fair enough. But I can honestly say, if anyone out there claims to like either that bacon e-liquid or that hickory smoked e-liquid, which literally just makes the coil taste burned, then I'm sorry, but uh, they've got to be lying. I'm sorry. Uh, I can honestly not comprehend anyone liking how any of them liquids taste. Because they honestly, they just... Oh, there are some god awful flavours, and I really do not know what vape may have been thinking. I don't know if they did it for the novelty factor, because I mean, I've seen loads of people on UK vapors. This is where I found out about these from. I've seen loads of people on UK vapors buying them because they've been on sale. So maybe it is just a sort of publicity thing. But Jesus Christ, no one, no, and I mean no one can truly enjoy these liquids. And if they do, they have got damn broken taste buds. So uh, yeah, this last one. Herbs de Provence. It just, it smells just herby. It just, it smells like rosemary. This bottle is actually a lot stiffer than the last couple. Might just be a funny bottle. Uh, but again, child safety lids and all that sort of stuff, which is good. Um. I'm, I'm honestly not dreading this liquid that much. Can't imagine it being that bad. Can't be as bad as the last couple I've been trying. But uh, yeah, again, 3.7 volts, 1.3 ohms. 10.5, 10.5 10 watts. So, uh, oh, actually, this does smell a bit funky. Oh. I really hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing for you. <laughs> I would not have bought these in any other situation. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just get this over and done with. It tastes like lavender. It 
tastes like a mixture of, you know them microwavable packs you get that you put on your neck or on like your back or something? It tastes like a mixture of that, maybe a kitchen spice or two, but mainly what I'm getting is, this is going to be a really weird thing to say, I went to an old monastery once when I was younger and we made candles and it was nice, it was, it was a fun experience. Um, it tastes like the smell of that monastery. Was it a monastery? I think it was a monastery. It's where monks go. I think that's what a monastery is. It tastes like how that smell, and they had like uh, incense sticks, which some people call joss sticks. Um, they had a bunch of them on. We we're, were working with candle wax and all that sort of stuff. And it tastes how that smells. And I can honestly say it, it's not particularly pleasant. Yep. It just tastes like microwavable hot sock things mixed with a monastery. So if you want to vape a monastery, get this herbs to province. It tastes like a monastery. Oh, again. Literally, the taste of these last couple of liquids, the bacon one, the, the hickory smoked one, and the Herbs de Provence one are bloody awful. The, the Kikoyam, the roast beef and the roast chicken actually aren't that bad. I mean, I was making out they were quite bad to start with, but everything just progressively got worse and worse. And I would not wish this upon any vapor. But uh, if you would like these liquids, I'm doing a competition. I'm going to record that straight after this. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And, oh. Good luck to whoever gets these liquids, and if you don't want to try them, I recommend you pass them on to your worst enemy and relabel them and make them think they're getting some beastie liquids, but they'll actually be really bad. But yeah, leave a like, comment, tell me what you think. If you tried them yourself, I'm gonna have to take a drink because I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna gag. Leave a comment if you've tried them, or if you want to mention anything, if you want to just have a general matter. Subscribe for more, and thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed me putting myself through this horrible, horrible ordeal. And thanks for watching. See you guys later.